Welcome to the Success Sensei Podcast for anyone interested in success, happiness, and balance. We'll teach you how to be a black belt at life. And now, your host, former professional fighter, multiple world champion, entrepreneur, and investor, Robert Devan. Bowing in. This is Robert Devan, the Success Sensei, helping you to win at life one kick and punch at a time. Episode 321. Eight high achiever traits. It's the Success Sensei Podcast main event. Eight high achiever traits. Who doesn't want to be a high achiever? Who doesn't want to achieve a lot of things in life? in their mission, in their subject matter, in their, their chosen field, in their goals, in their business, in their job. Who doesn't want to be more successful or certainly achieve more, achieve higher things than you've already achieved? Who wants to be a low achiever? I would imagine not that many people, even people who have achieved a lot of things, are going to want to continue achieving a lot of other things and experiencing all that life has to offer. So here's to high achievers and how you can become more of a high achiever. And let's break down eight personality traits that really combine together to develop uh, high achievers. Now, you might be a high achiever already. You might be a low achiever, an underachiever. That's all fine. All are welcome. But you maybe you've never thought about what personality traits are needed. Well, we're going to go through what highly successful people um, attribute their success to and the personality traits that are must-haves. Now, when I'm doing these episodes, I don't write out everything that I should say. That's why they're absolutely not over-edited, over-polished and, and perfect. I like to ad-lib a lot of what said I hate just I just don't want to read something from start to finish and um, I have done a couple of episodes that were like that that were important that I absolutely had to write that way but the majority of stuff I use what's called a mind map which is essentially I write down the main points I write down a, a few keywords and then when I'm trying to read my atrocious writing I catch myself out and make plenty of mistakes and and can even often confuse myself. This is one of those episodes. I probably didn't need to say any of that because I might not confuse myself and it might all just flow. But you understand the process that I, I like it to be fresh when it's recorded. I like it to be organic. So please forgive me uh, if I make any mistakes or stammers or stutters or... or lose track of where I am, uh, which frequently can happen, or I lose the, the number, the point number I'm on, because it is kind of a mind map system. Anyway, here we go. What the hell are the eight high achiever personality traits, which can absolutely help you um, to focus uh, in, in your life? And here's number one. Clarity. Clarity. Have a clear vision. High achieving people know exactly what it is that they want. They can visualize their path and their plan. Well-defined goals are needed. Focused vision. That's number one, clarity. I've banged on loads of time in the past, loads of times about having your goals, knowing what it is that you want, seeing it clearly in your mind. To be able to achieve something, you need to really see it and really understand what it is that you want so that you're not aimlessly going towards things that you don't actually want. Have clarity of vision. That's number one. Number two, passion. What's passion? Well, it's basically an intense drive that will drive you forward. It is strong, positive feelings that you're going to inject into your clarity of vision and in, into your goals. You have to be passionate about your mission. And passion can overcome tiredness. It can overcome frustration. It can overcome many obstacles. So passion is essential. That's number two. Number three is ownership. Basically taking responsibility for your life. 
and taking responsibility of where you're at right now. As distasteful as that may be to certain people in this moment in time. But you need to own your decisions. Absolutely your past decisions and absolutely your future decisions. Because this is what will help take things into your own hands. Um, If you own and take ownership of your life then you have a larger degree of control over your own life. You possess your own life. Number four, commitment. Basically, prioritize your time, your energy, and your finances. And it needs to be prioritized. You need to be committed for a long term You basically need to be all into your vision, all into your goal, all into your plan, all into your your mission. And you need to stay dedicated to your cause. Basically, commitment is the same as ultimate devotion to what it is that you're doing. Number five, positive mindset. Yes, you will need a happy disposition. It's absolutely fine to plan for the worst, but you do need to hope for the best. Focus on positive thinking and positive action. Is all the complaining and all the moaning and all the giving out necessary? You already know the answer to that. And to have a positive mindset, you have to be very conscious of all that complaining yourself are hanging around and listening to other people that are excessively negative and excessively uh, complaining. Number six, perseverance. Perseverance is very similar to commitment. The difference with perseverance is this is the relentlessness. Perseverance is what kicks in when you are committed, but you come across the obstacles on your path. You need to be persistent despite difficulty or delay in achieving your success. Stubbornness is another word for the persist for the persistence and for the uh, perseverance that you're going to need. You need to have a one track mind. One track mind might be considered negative, especially if it's leading you down a negative path. But for perseverance and persistence, you need to be one track minded. You need to be focused. You need to be unwavering. And you need to be extremely determined. Number seven, self-discipline. And self-discipline is to control feelings, your own feelings and your negative feelings, and to overcome weakness. Consistently making the right choices, even when those choices are difficult. Reduce or eliminate short-term gratification or rewards for longer-term gratification, longer-term goals, longer-term achievement, longer-term success. Eliminate procrastination and never give in to yourself. Number eight, lifelong learner. So life is an ongoing process. Achieving is an ongoing process. Chasing success is an ongoing process. To stop learning is to give up. It's to crystallize your current position. And I would say, as I as I kind of alluded to earlier, even if you're happy with your current position and you crystallize that position, you're going to miss out on all the other potential things that you could have done and experienced and achieved. You don't even know what you don't know. So keep going, keep learning. Uh, what got you here won't get you there. Build your future and stay relevant. That is the eight. Number one was clarity. Number two was passion. Number three was ownership. Number four, commitment. Number five, positive mindset. Six, perseverance. Seven, self-discipline. Eight, lifelong learner. Now, these are the eight traits that high achievers consistently have and consistently display. Now, you, of course, can be a high achiever 
in your area of expertise or in an area that you wish to be an expert in, in your field, in your subject matter, there's absolutely nothing stopping you. Uh, so concentrate in those eight areas that we talked about. And by the way, that, you know, you can be a high achiever in several different disciplines. It doesn't just have to be one. We hope that everybody is going to have a long life. You're going to be around for many decades. Each decade, you might decide you're going to achieve in a completely different subject matter. So it's a, it, it is absolutely conceivable and possible that you can be a high achiever in multiple subjects across multiple time frames. Keep that in mind. Hopefully it's given you a little bit of confidence and a little bit of motivation. Message me anytime. Thank you for listening. I'm Robert Devan, the Success Sensei. Life is a fight you can enjoy and win. Bowing out. This has been the Success Sensei, fighting the winning fight. So add us, subscribe, like, and comment. Keep those hands up and keep moving forward.